Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be testing out the new Claymore version 14.7 with RX Boost. This, this Claymore version just came out a couple days ago and I'm here to make this for you guys. I know that a couple of you guys were asking about the RX Boost, so here it is. And I got two different video cards I'll be testing with this miner today. I have the RX uh, Asus RX 480 8GB Strix Edition card with Samsung memory, okay? Uh, specifically, according to GPUZ, as you guys can see here, Samsung. And then the next card I got is a XFX RX 570 8GB card with um, Hynix memory, according to GPUZ here. So, two different cards. Oops, uh, there we go. Hynix memory. Two different cards, and I got two different overclock settings and undervolting settings here. I'm using Global Wattman as my tool. I know some of you guys like using Overdrive End Tool or MSI Afterburner, uh, but for myself and from my experience, everyone's experience will be different, guys. Um, from my from my experience, the the Wattman has been a lot more stable and more just just I don't know, just more stable for me. That's the reason why I'm using it. I haven't had much uh, good luck with MSI Afterburner or Overdrive End Tool, but I know that a lot of other people have. So, you know, mileage may vary, guys. Disclaimer, you guys can use whatever that you guys are most comfortable with. But in this video, I'm using uh, the Radeon, the Global Wattman, to change um, uh, the frequency, core, memory, and the uh, power uh, voltage control uh, of, all the, of, each, of each card. And then I save the profile and if it crashes or whatever I can just load the profile again so not a big deal for me but uh, for some other people I know that some people don't like the Wattman so three different tests guys I'm testing with the RX boost and then by itself the first test and then the next test will be with this just the strap dash strap um, and then the test number three will be with the strap and RX boost together so we'll see which hash rates we are gonna get on all three three different tests and um, I would like to stress, guys, that disclaimer, you know, mileage may vary because each card, each graphic card, you know, it depends on your silicon lottery, uh, you know, the memory brand and, you know, overclock potential. Every card will will not be able to overclock at a certain number, right? Like, example, my XFX, I can't go over 2100 memory. It just, I just can't. It just freezes or dies after, after 2100 memory. But on my Asus Strix RX 480 8GB card, I'm able to go past 2200 memory. So I got here set, I got my card, my 480 here set at 2250 memory at 925 uh, millivolts in Wattman. So pretty insane. Um, but for you guys, your, your guys' is, your guys is, um, over overclock settings may vary. So it depends on how stable it is for you guys. So with these settings, I, I've been able to get stable. So let's go through it, guys. Um, actually, before I do that, I just wanted to mention that with the Claymore version 14.7, um, one of the biggest things that they've updated is now that you don't need to have Windows in test mode, okay, for the driver. So just if you want to un uninstall the driver, just go dash driver uninstall in the batch file. So for example, um, say you had your batch file here, you just go dash driver uninstall and save and make sure um, you run as administrator and it'll close and then you just have to reboot your machine and the the, des the test mode um, thing at the bottom right will go away and then you come back to your batch file and take off the uh, dash driver and you should be good okay guys so for the first test let's do the RX boost and I want to thank Nefarious Fool, Nefarious Technology, for giving me the numbers here for the RX Boost. So I'm just going to be using uh, 21 for this example. He said he was able to get dash RX Boost space 21 to be the most uh, stable for him. So in this video, we're going to be using that. And uh, the next the next portion here, I have dash DBG minus 1. Uh, dash one. That's just so that there's no logging file being created. I just hate those log files. I never look at them anyway. And um, another thing to mention, guys, is that you want to have your file path uh, before your ETH DCR miner 64.exe. So this is just to run it as administrator. And um, I always rename the folder 
to a short name with no spaces. Um, but if you decide to have a space in your folder, just make sure you have quotations uh, between your your C drive here and the exe at the end. Okay, so but in this example, I don't have a space in my folder folder name path, so that's good. Um, let's click save and let's run it, guys. And I'll, I'll be sure to have everything all timestamped for you guys. Don't worry. Um, I, I, I know that I ramble on a lot. <laughs> okay, so the first test here is just the RX Boost by itself. Okay, guys? So you can see here, RX Boost option is applied successfully. Setting the DAG file right now. And as you guys can see, the kilowatt idle wattage right now is about 50 watts. Okay, it looks like it has crashed. It has definitely crashed on me. So we're gonna try it again. Let's close. Let's close the miner. Let's run it again. Okay, here we go. Dash strap, twenty-one. Ah, uh, dash RX boost, twenty-one. Okay, it's making the DAG now, it's making the file. Setting the DAG epoch. Okay, there we go, guys. All right, so with the RX Boost 21, we're getting about on the RX 480. Okay, so it just applied the dash DCRI. Now we are at uh, 29.8 mega hash on the RX 480. Okay, so let's write that down 29.8 mega hash. And the RX 570 is getting around 31.1, 31.1 mega hash. Okay, so that's good. Um, now let's go ahead and do the second uh, test here. So we're gonna do just the strap alone now. We're not gonna do the RX boost, and so we just wanna see what the difference in hash rate will be. Uh, so let's take out that strap. Um, so in this one, we're gonna do strap two and the comma one. So what that means, guys, is that I'm applying the strap uh, number two, which is more stable for my Samsung card uh, specifically, um, which seemed to work better. And then I'm doing strap one for my Hynix card. Um, so let's do that. Save. Okay, as you can see here, close. Run as administrator. And let's see what the hash rates are now with just the straps, okay? Just to, just to give you guys some context, I know some of you guys like to see that difference. So boom, you can see here, strap uh, POL8S2 is applied successfully and H1 is applied successfully. So the S and the H mean Samsung and Hynix uh, in the straps that Claymore has, has implemented. Okay, updating memory timings finished and let's see what the hash rate is here. Okay. And a cool, another cool thing is that you guys can see the power consumption now in this new version of Claymore. Um, 77 watts for GPU one, or GPU zero, which is, which is the RX 480, and the 570 is getting about 73 watts. But at the wall, currently, I'm at 300 watts. So 300 watts minus 50 watts. So about each card is doing 125 watts uh, at the wall currently. Okay, so 30. Wow, 32. Point uh, the RX 480 is now getting 32.59 mega hash at the with the strap, and the RX 570 is only doing 29.8 mega hash. Huh? Interesting. Okay, it looks like we found a share, so that's good. Uh, let's close that, guys. Okay, so before we do the strap with the RX boost now, so with both, um, I just want to compare here. So with the RX boost alone. The RX 480 was doing 29.8 mega hash, okay? And the RX 570 was doing 31.1 mega hash. But now things have flipped around. So now with just only the straps, um, the RX 480 was doing 32.59 mega hash, and the 570 decided to do a little bit lower, uh, 29.8. So it looks like um, the RX 480 likes the strap better than the boost for some reason. I don't know why. 
Um, but anyway, uh, let's now let's now try the RX boost with the straps, guys. So you're gonna go to your batch file and do da dash RX boost um, 21 uh, for this example. Mileage may vary. You guys can try different numbers here and different straps. Um, one through six so just make sure depending on what your guys' memory is on your RX cards or AMD cards you know there's Alpita RAM and Hynix Samsung and uh, Micron as well so there's there's a bunch of different ones guys so let's see what we get on this guys save and let's run as admins and go let's see what we got here this will be exciting Okay, all right, so as you can see here, it applied the strap and the RX boost uh, successfully. Doing the DAG. Um, updating memory timings, please wait a few seconds. Updating memory timings finished. Would you look at that? Okay. All right, so it looks like the wattages are the same. The whole rig is getting about 300 watts at the wall. Um, okay, it applied the uh, intensity. Okay, so after all that, looks like we've gotten a pretty big boost. All right, let's write this down. Uh, 33.2 mega hash on the 480, and the RX 570 is getting 31.2. Yeah, 31.2 mega hash. All right. Wow, that's 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 pretty good. Um let's let's keep it going. Let's see if it's stable for a while. But let's let's review let's review what we got here on our uh, hash rates here. So okay, so with the strap and RX boost, the RX 480 was getting uh, 33.2 mega hash and the 570 was getting 31.2. So it looks like we've gotten little bit of a boost compared to having just the RX boost alone but it looks like with the straps and the RX boost we are getting a lot more on the RX 480 so wow the RX 480 is actually doing a lot better I wonder though if I up the power consumption or the uh, power on the um, RX FX I wonder if I get a little bit more mega hash if I just up the uh, uh, voltage settings Huh, that might be a thing later. Um, but yeah, guys, look at that. 33.2 mega hash. Oh, we got an incorrect share. Uh, GPU number one got an incorrect share. Oh, wow. So the lower mega hash card, which is the RX 570, was getting getting a little bit uh, too much overclock. So yeah, this RX 570 8GB card is really not overclock friendly, uh, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, it, it, it seems to run better at t around 2000 uh, memory. But as you guys can see here, the RX 480 is a boss. Look at that. 33, 33.1, 33.2 mega hash. And it's been finding shares. So that's been pretty cool. So, all right, guys. Well, that's the end of the video. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, if I missed something, I probably did. Let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys so much. And smash the like button, all that good stuff, subscribe, click the notification bell, and please use any of my affiliate links down below. Helps me out a lot and helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.